because electricity happens so quickly and is hiding inside these wires and so small we can't see it, we need to enlist the help of a digital multimeter to give us a hint as to what's going on inside our circuit. Now before we can do this, we need our basic simplest circuit of one bulb and one power source along with a couple leads connecting them together. And we need a digital multimeter. The first uh, version of the multimeter we're going to use is that of a voltmeter. And it's going to measure the energy change of the coulombs as they go through the circuit. And so we need to insert our leads. And the first one is the black one. Now the color doesn't actually matter, but if it helps keep it straight, that'll help. Black one goes in the center and your other lead is going to go on the right hand side for these where it says V. Okay, And we're going to be wanting to put our dial over to this side and whether you stick it on the 20 or 200 it makes little difference except for how many decimal places that you get. Okay, So we'll just leave it right there. Voltmeters are the simplest in terms of actual physical wiring in that you simply put them on either side of what you're testing. And so we find here that our bulb has about 5.9 volts and our battery says that it's giving six, and so we find that also our wires are taking a tiny bit of energy getting there. You notice that there's a negative sign right here. Not a big deal, it simply means that I have put the leads on backwards. And reversing that solves that problem. The other type of meter that we can use on this one is an ammeter. Obviously there's a few others, but we're focusing on the two simplest ones right now, and the most common ones. And so just as we switch the dial to the opposite side, we're also going to take our lead and switch it to the other side as well, black staying in the center. Now if we try to hook that up on either side of the bulb like we did last time, please don't do this very often, you'll notice that some strange things happen. Our bulb goes out, we also see that we had an emergency warning light turn on right here. That's because we are short circuiting this circuit. So with an ammeter, the goal is to have to break the circuit, we'll eventually call us putting it in series with it, and we're going to hook up meter like this. And so now that we have physically broken our circuit and inserted our ammeter in there, we see that our amperage reading is 0 0.06 and that is the flow of coulombs going through this circuit right here. And so that's the foundations of voltmeter and ammeter use.